Alright my kings, my G's and my gents, what's happening y'all today? We have another transformation, we have a V taper with a low skin tape This is how he's looking like before, he was looking wild So you know how we clips had to step in and change the game a little bit But honestly, this is one of the first times I've done a haircut like this um, you're gonna see how nervous I am throughout the whole video, but y'all just gonna see, y'all just gonna see. The first thing we're doing is going with our number two yard open, and I'm going just to remove the bulk. My only mission with, th with this, with this first step, is to remove the bulk from the bottom half of his head. That way I can see the canvas and I can see what I'm working with. You don't want to go all the way on top, just right below his crown, and make sure you scoop out. Next thing I am doing, guys, is going with my pencil. Uh, this is a barber white pencil. And so you get these off Amazon. I can link it to y'all in the description below. And honestly, what I thought was good in my head did not really translate into the canvas. So this is one of those times where experience really comes into play. You feel me? Uh, I just I, I just didn't like it. I did not like how he came out. So as a barber, you have to improvise a little bit. Come up with something that you can do within your capabilities. So what I ended up doing is going with the pencil and just making a line all the way across his head, kind of dipping down and making a V point towards the back of his head. I'm also connecting that to the eyebrows because I want the lines to connect to the eyebrows. In my head, that's how I'm visioning it. So this is a rough little outline of how I feel like I want the design to come out. It's a V point in the back. And all I'm gonna do is just outline that line with my trimmers these are my cordless wall detailers i love these these are my babies i'll, I'll take care of them forever uh, i'm not gonna go to a different trimmer maybe i will who knows but i love these so much and i definitely highly recommend y'all get these so that's just my little rough outline you're gonna see how it's looking like it connected to the eyebrows and on the other side i'm gonna do the exact same thing from the eyebrows up into the hair be very careful with this y'all you don't want to make the line too thick and if you do decide that you want to make the line thicker then you go ahead and do that with your razor not with your trimmer skins i'm telling you you're gonna make the mistake of making it too thick and it's just gonna look wild i've been there i've done that and within experience you're just gonna get better and better and better so right here you know the v point connecting to the back and honestly i thought this was a little too simple right so i ended up making another little v right below that that point that it met on top right just making sure it lines up that it's parallel to each other somewhat parallel to each other mind you this is a rough draft and then everything else is just gonna come in once you start fading and doing your detail work and razor work so this is what it's looking like so far it's looking a little wild i'm not gonna lie but just just trust in the process y'all just trust in the process right here i am going with my number one and a half guard close and i'm just still taking care of all that bulk mind y'all whatever you do on one side of the head you do the exact same thing on the other side as symmetrical as possible and right here i just didn't like the way that v ended up looking so i ended up making this into a triangle right and this whole haircut wasn't planned it wasn't planned at all i didn't come into this haircut with this vision in my head i just did it on the spot and that's probably one of the worst things you should do you should always come a little bit prepared but like i said just trust your barber and if their skills are up there then they're gonna produce a decent enough job like how i did and this might not be the most perfect haircut design ever but i'm just showing this to y'all because i want to show y'all that growth is possible with any haircut with any barber with anything y'all and right over here you're gonna see i didn't like how it started looking like after i tried fading it out so you know what i did i just ended up taking everything underneath that v and shaving it off completely i don't need that i don't want that my vision here at this point is yo i'm gonna keep that v dark but i'm gonna fade everything on the sides of it i'm still gonna keep the bottom part bald but everything else i'm gonna start fading out and this is like i said where experience starts coming in where your vision starts coming in where your creativity starts coming in 
If you don't have that creator bone, it's gonna be hard to come up with these designs with these different hairstyles, this, that, the third. And that's one of the main things that I'm trying to work on myself. I'm telling you, this video is about growth. I'm growing. I'm not afraid to show off my cuts. I'm not afraid to get some criticism, some critiques, the same way y'all shouldn't either because we are striving to grow together, y'all. Right here, you're just seeing that I'm just going in with my trimmers, creating my first ball guideline on the sides. Making this super, super low. Make sure to get the ears too. That's probably one of the trickiest parts to get. Make sure to just pull that, pull that ear out and go in in that crease. Next thing we're doing is going with our wall foil shavers. I used to have rock my andis, but the andis just ended up breaking for some reason, you know? But it is what it is, so I got these walls. But right here, I got my wall seniors, and I'm just going in with my lever open, creating my next guideline right i'm gonna go about an inch or so because you want to give yourself enough room to blend in from that triple zero which were the trimmers all the way up to that uh no guard open neatness is y'all best friend i promise y'all neatness is y'all best friend if y'all learning anything from barbering make sure to make sure to make sure to make sure that all your guidelines are as neat as possible everything is as neat and visible as possible because you don't want your fade to be really awkward or anything like that right so the next thing we're doing is going with our number one guard and we're going from our number one guard open to close mind you as you get closer to that bottom line you're gonna start closing your lever gradually when your lever is open that means that the teeth of the blade is as furthest apart as it can be right However, when your lever is closed, that means that the teeth of your blade is as close as it can be, right? That's what I mean by open and close. So from open to halfway open and then to close. But as you're going to see in this video, that doesn't really pan out as much. Because the bottom line between the no guard open and then the one, that shit doesn't come out. It doesn't come out. So what I'm going to end up doing is going with my 16th guard or my 0.5 guard. And I'm just using my corners at this point. You know why I'm using my corners? Y'all already know this from the countless videos I posted. It's because I don't want to push that line up, right? We're breaking that line out. We're breaking that line up with our corners. By making your lever open, close, whatever it takes in order to get that line out. But usually, whenever I see a line like that, I go in with my 16th guard open, using my corners. And then my 16th guard halfway open, still using my corners. And then guess what? My 16th guard closed because I'm still using my corners. And I'm working smart, and I don't want to push that line up. That's the reason why you want to use your corners. You're breaking that line up. So it's... It's not a line anymore. It's just little bits of hairs here and there. That's what a fade is. It's not perfect. It's blurry. It's gradual. It's gradient. You feel me? And I know a skin face could be hard. And especially some, some, some like this. I never thought I could come up with something like this first starting off in barbering. I couldn't even do a perfect skin fade. I couldn't even do a half decent skin fade coming out of barber school. You feel me? But within time, everything is just gonna come. And I know this might not be perfect, but you you about to see. Javi Clips is gonna grow, and I know y'all gonna grow too. Like I said, I want y'all to be confident. I want y'all to look at this video like, yo, if he could do this, I could do this too. There's no reason why I'm just staying here doing nothing. You feel me? So right here, as you were watching and hearing me ramble, I'm going in with my no guard open to close. Now I'm taking care of that bottom line. So I went from my no guard open to my half no guard halfway open to my no guard closed. And at the same time, I'm still using my corners. You know what? Because I just said it, yo. <laughs> I just said it. You don't want to push that fade up. You don't want to push it up. You just want to break up that line. You see that line right there? I'm still going to keep on using my corners in order to break that up. And even if you're not using your corners, make sure to be very light with it. If you do use your full blade, make sure to scoop out as well. Because I'm telling you, if you put in a hard enough stroke in there and you get a, a hard ass line to get out, then it's going to be your worst nightmare. The fade is just going to look wild. 
It's not gonna look like how you planned it to be. And then mind you, keep changing your guards. This is the part of the fade where I'm just lever playing it. 360 Jeezy has made this famous, lever play it. That means you're just using your, 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 your lever in order to take out any line that's there. You're just eyeing it out. If Let's say if you see a little patch there and you go in with your one guard open, but that's not taking anything out. Try it with your one guard closed. Try to break that line out with your one guard closed. If nothing, then keep lowering your guards, keep lowering your level, your lever until you finally see that it's going away but don't don't rush it be patient about it be patient about it and i promise within time within all the mistakes you've made it's all gonna come in so you're gonna be like oh i did this good i did this bad so now the next haircut i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that so that's all it is it's just a lot of practice right here i got my number one guard open and i'm just taking care of the top part of that fade i'm just trying to remove as much darkness and patches as i can from that and on the other side you can see where i did my pencil and it was like a little walk at first but we got to it and mind you what you're gonna do on one side of the fade one side of the head you're gonna do on the exact same other side you know <laughs> try to keep it as symmetrical as you can so the hair could look as symmetrical as you can and if you can't, and if you notice after the haircut, like, yo, I could've done this different, I could've done that different, then that's just gonna make you a better barber. There's plenty of things on this haircut that I could've done way different. But now I know, now y'all know. Y'all learn from my mistakes, and hopefully I can learn from y'all mistakes too. Is there any, like, crazy things that happened to you while you were cutting hair? And <laughs> you were just like, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> There was this one time, bro, I was giving my boy a crazy, crazy, crazy ass skin taper, the most flawless skin taper you can see. And I have my white one and a half guard. You know what happened after? Nah, bro, my, I, I looked away for one second. And this is one thing you shouldn't do, look away. Always keep your eyes on the haircut, always keep your eyes on your clippers, because you don't know what's going to happen. I look away for one second, I make a stroke, and I hear it. I hear all the hair fall off, I feel it on my hand, and I'm like, fuck. I really patched my dude up because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Has anything like that happened to y'all? Because, oh man, ever since that I ended up getting the... the wall premium guards the ones that clip onto your to your um to your clippers because i'm not trying to risk that again and honestly telling your client that you patch them up is one of the worst feelings ever and if that ever happens to y'all just keep it a bug keep it straight don't try to hide it let them know obviously give them the haircut for free because you just patch them up but i promise y'all that's gonna go a long way honesty is key it's gonna go a long way and it's gonna keep having you in business Respect the game, respect the process, respect everyone else in this world, y'all. And it's gonna go a long way. So right here, you've been seeing, I've been doing the trimmer work. I've just been lining it up. I've been lining him up, actually. And one good thing I'm trying to show in this clip is y'all should really use the clipper, the trimmers, actually, as a pencil. You want to make sure to use it as a pencil and trace everything out. And after you do that, you're gonna see how perfect that is. Look at how good that looks. Look at how sharp that looks. And I did not even hit him with the trimmers. Right? So right here, all we're doing is going with our number two guard. This is going to be our two guard open. And now you're going to flick out all the way up to the crown. Don't go in. Don't go into his head. Flick out. Because he still wants to have that box type shape. Right? Just flick out. And you see how the, 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 the design is coming out now? There's still some areas that I see that I should be working on, like this side of his head specifically. I should actually fade that out a little bit more. But you're gonna see. Now I'm just doing a little bit of clipper over comb. This is the bread and butter to all my haircuts. I love clipper over comb. It works perfect for taking off bugs. It, work, it works perfect for shaping the head. It, it, this is just an amazing tool to use. Um, it bypasses any four, five, six guard. Instead of using four, five, six guard and wasting more time, you could just use the clipper over comb and shape the head, shape the hair to your liking. Um, it does take a little bit of a while to get used to it, but within time, you're gonna end up learning how to use it as well so right here i'm just going with my i want to say with my elegance shaving gel and i'm just applying it to the parts
that's where I did my trimmer work The reason why I do that, I wanna do that is because I'm going to hit it with my razor Make sure that when you're hitting it with your razor, you're going really slow You're controlling the razor You're pulling away from where you're cutting And if he has any pimples or anything like that, don't cut over it Because you're going to cut him, he's going to bleed And that's what I did here Um always keep a third eye open you feel me uh even barbers who are more experienced still end up cutting some people and it just happens with the game it happens it's bad luck it's in intent in intensive you know i don't know what the word is but you feel me just be careful everyone makes mistakes it's not that big of a deal if you're cutting people every single haircut that's a problem but try to not do that right so right here i'm just going over that line that i did with my trimmers and by making it thick with the razor that's exactly what i'm doing right here i'm just making it a little bit thicker so the line stands out a little bit more and actually right here you're seeing what the process looks like looks like in making it thicker that's all i'm doing right here look at that Pull away from where you're, where you're cutting and try to line everything up as best you can. And looking back into all of this, I know I could have done so much better. But that's the process, y'all. That's the process in getting better. That's the process and just better overall, better barber, you know? Be slow with it. Be gentle with it. Don't rush it because you're going to cut someone. Don't rush it because you're going to make mistakes. And mind you, time, speed, that comes with experience. That comes within more haircuts you do. That comes within your 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 setup, your the way you cut hair, the that comes with everything, with experience, y'all. So don't worry about you taking too much for a haircut when other people are doing it in 30 minutes. Don't worry about that, y'all. I promise you. It's gonna come within time. And y'all just gonna get it. One day you're just gonna be like, what the fuck? I did this shit in like 30 minutes, yo, and it came out really good. It's gonna come with experience. Right here, I'm just getting a little bit of semi-permanent hair dye, right? And I'm just applying it to the bottom part of that line just to make that line a little crispier. Just to make it a little bit more proficient, a little bit, a little bit, you know, a little bit nicer. Not too much, just a little bit. If you put too much, it's it's gonna look bad. You just want to put enough to make that bottom line sharp. This isn't necessary at all. Honestly, I didn't even have to put the paint on this, but I just like the way it looks. I like the feel it gives, and you just apply it very, very lightly. You don't put too much paint on the tips of your brush because it's gonna look bad. Just a little bit And after you do that You just brush in the paint A little bit Towards the bottom of the hair Just to blend it in Right That's all it is That's all it is It's looking nice I'm not gonna lie I could've done a better job I could've But it's looking nice It's really looking nice And now From the trials and errors That I've made with this haircut I know that the haircut Moving forward Is gonna look way 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 better and look at this, y'all. I'm just doing a little bit of extra detail work. That little extra detail work makes or breaks the haircut, y'all. Because even though I, this, this looks like something very small, it really adds a little bit of a, of a vibe, a little bit of a flair to the haircut, you feel me? It just makes it look better. These little, these little detail works, these little, these little things that you should be paying attention to, your regular cuts is something that you should be doing on a constant basis. Even though this design didn't come out the way I would have liked it to really come out. These little detail works is what makes or breaks the cut. And right here, all I'm doing is fading out the edges of that triangle, making it a little bit lighter. Because I wanted to fake, like, subtly fade from the outside to the middle. So that's kind of my vision going into this haircut, you know? So it fades from the bottom towards the sides and then a phase from the sides towards the middle of that design i think it's kind of dope but going on to the next haircut going on to the next design i got a better understanding of how all of this works and that's what i mean by you know just keep practicing y'all it's it's really not that hard and y'all should just 
Take every failure as a step into getting better. And if y'all been watching for this long, I mess with y'all heavy. Y'all some real ones. I mess with y'all heavy. I don't see any of this unnoticed, you know? None of this support goes unnoticed. All of y'all, I see y'all. I, I hope y'all having a great ass day today. And actually, for this side right here, the fade on this side, I didn't get it on camera. However, I did end up making the fade a little later. I ended up pushing the fade a little bit higher, just so it matches up a little bit better with that other side. And honestly, y'all, if y'all been liking the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to comment what you liked on the video. If there's any time that you've messed up on a haircut which you felt was really bad, and make sure to share this video with y'all with y'all friends. Make sure to share it with with y'all coworkers, with whoever cuts hair, who whoever's looking for a new haircut just make sure to share this y'all make sure to share the love i appreciate y'all so much and we're it's about that time it's about that time where get, we're getting closer to to the end of the haircut and honestly he's been looking for it, it came out way better than what i thought it would have came out i honestly thought it would have came out a little bit worse but i'm telling you all of this comes with experience i still need that experience too i'm still striving to get better and as y'all should as well not only in cutting hair but also in your customer service also in how you treat people you know trying to get better business-wide marketing wise you're y'all entrepreneurs y'all are really entrepreneurs and i want to make sure i want to hope that y'all are pushing it as best as y'all can as hard as y'all can as smart as y'all can because honestly, we're all just trying to get to the bag And whatever your boat you're in I'm going to be on your boat Or you, I've been on your boat And I know the struggles of all this It's hard, it's going to be difficult But y'all going to get it If I swear to y'all, as I grow, y'all going to grow too Just keep watching my videos I really mess with y'all Make sure to subscribe, y'all And yeah, that, that's pretty much it, y'all For right here, I'm just doing a little bit of this hairline the most important part of his hairline of his haircut start from the middle and then you work your way outwards that way you avoid making the hairline lopsided y'all make sure to use your corners as well because you want to make sure that the box is as sharp as it can be and honestly it might look like i pushed him a little bit back but i really didn't his hairline started a little bit higher and all of that is just overgrown bangs that's all it is i didn't really push him back that's just how his his forehead is y'all you feel me so don't be afraid to cut off hair that's one of the main things that i remember i've always had trouble with is cutting off too much hair but just just go for it uh, it might seem like a big risk but just go for it and you're gonna either notice that you did something good or you're gonna mess up and you're gonna learn from that and apply that onto your next haircut y'all so yeah man he's looking nice we got in there it's looking dope came out way better than what i thought and i hope this gave y'all some confidence in order to, you know work a little bit harder a little bit better at your craft because y'all are artists so y'all y'all not ready y'all y'all really not ready this is what my man's is looking like right before the cut my son was looking critical it's all good though pulled up to hobby clips he trusted in his barber and yo y'all y'all not ready y'all y'all not ready sheesh my son's looking crazy right here like i told you i faded in the size as well it's looking really good and honestly this is something really simple if you want to get into designs and stuff like that uh it's looking really really good cool crisp little design you know my boy's feeling good too connects to the eyebrows and everything and i hope y'all like the, the i hope y'all like the video y'all have a great ass day hope y'all wake up hope y'all go to sleep making some bread that's the goal enjoy y'all day kings